the Saints. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining in. I appreciate you taking your time coming on to see what I'm doing on this side of the camera. And of course, if you are returning, no matter how many times you have visited this channel, I appreciate it. You know my heart. I say thank you to you also. So don't want to be before you long, but um, I am celebrating my birthday this week and I had shown you a video of some birthday makes, but today is the video for my shopping, fabric shopping spree. So I have a fabric haul that I would like to show you. These are the things that I treated myself to. Um, for my birthday. I have a fabric shopping spree and then I have a regular shopping spree. Nothing spectacular. I like to shop in TJ Maxx, maybe DSW, maybe Ulta Beauty, you know, a couple of things like that. Just something that I say for myself to uh, be able to do for my birthday. So I'm gonna get started with my fabric haul three days of shopping, well, three different days I shopped, and then of course, three different stores. So I'll be right with you so you can see all the beautiful fabrics that I purchased. So it's a nice size fabric haul. Um, I'll be really quick. I don't have patterns for everything, but anyway, I'll get started with what I have. So I shopped at my favorite store, Fabric Hut. You can do fabrichut.com if you wanted to uh, go online and look at their store. I have two pieces from Joann's and I think maybe three pieces, I think, um, come from Hobby Lobby. But anyway, I'm going to, um, the store, the fabrics are mixed up. They're not by store. I really have them by what type of garment I'm gonna make. So I'll get started with this pile. And this is a chiffon. I only bought a yard of it. I think maybe a yard and a half of it. I think the print is gorgeous. I, um, of course, you know, chiffon has a nice flow uh, drape to it. I bought this so that I could make a top. I was thinking about getting a couple of um, print tops in my closet because I don't have a lot of them. This is a lot of print for me. So what I'll probably do, it'll definitely be something sleeveless, probably just a round neck sleeveless, um, you know, with a little button at the back. It won't be a big deal, but it'll be a nice top. Just thinking about something to wear with black pants. That came from Fabric Hut. This right here, it's a knit. Of course, you can see the stretch in it. It's a tie dye, so it has a stretch this way, and then it definitely has a stretch this way. But this is this. It's a tie dye fabric. I thought it was very pretty. At first, I thought it was going to go with the purple pants that I made, but when I got it home, it um, it doesn't go. It's purple, but it's burgundy. I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't match. But I want to make a nice top um, out of this. I'm thinking about like a t-shirt type. Well, just a round neck, but I do want a nice sleeve, you know, those sleeves that are kind of full, and then you have that long cuff right here. That's what I want to find for that. I don't have that pattern in my stash, so I'll have to go looking for patterns, but that's the second piece. The third piece, it's just a white cotton. This came from my store, Fabric Hut, also. You probably can't see the detail, but it, there are white lines. So it's definitely a, it's 100% cotton. It's a shirting fabric. And that's just because I love a white shirt. It'll probably be a button down of some type, but um, I felt like I could use another white shirt in my collection. 
This black right here came from Hobby Lobby. It feels like a taffeta and sounds like a taffeta, but it has a little, little, little bit of stretch in it. Yeah, well, it got some stretch in it. It's black like a taffeta, but if you look really close, these dots are velvet. So I thought this would make a nice black shirt for the holiday. Again, I don't know. I have an idea of the pattern that I'll use, something that I made before, but just a nice black piece. It's not shiny, so it won't be restricted to um, holiday, but that's what I was thinking about. A nice blouse, um, short blouse, big puffy sleeve, because this fabric is definitely going to the sleeve will puff, but a nice puffy sleeve. And then you put on a nice skirt. This would really be nice. So that's just that. Then I got um, a couple of pieces for some sweaters. Because I love a good um, tank top and a sweater. When I go out or if I'm dressed for church, it's a sleeveless dress and a cardigan or a jacket or it's a nice pencil skirt with a nice tank top maybe sleeveless top and a cardigan or a jacket that's pretty much my common um way that i dress i know you see a lot of other things that i make but i share my clothing or i give some clothing away sometimes and plus i just like making the fabric um making the pattern the first piece i got is this red it's just a ponty knit of course it has some stretch the long way and then it has some stretch crosswise now this red i don't know maybe it's a little bright for me i'm not sure red is not a color that i wear i used to i don't know what made me stop but i used to but this red um it's nice it's you know, you've seen Ponty Knits before, so it's nice. Showing up kind of orangey red on the camera, but it's red. This will be a cardigan. So this one's for a cardigan. This purple. This is another knit, but this purple. It's almost like a bluish purple. This purple has a stretch. This is really nice. It was in the section with the wools, but it is knit, has a nice drape. If you look close, you can see the glitter. It's like that eyelash type fabric. This is much nicer than the other one I have and stuff. So it'd be nice, but this is for a cardigan also. Now it would make a gorgeous dress, but I have, I don't, I'm not going anywhere. So it's purple. It's like a midnight purple because it's purple, but I can kind of see a blue hue in it, but that's for a cardigan. So the red one's a cardigan. That one's a cardigan. This one is another one. Now this is kind of fancy. It's kind of like a ponty knit, has some stretch, mostly going crosswise. But it's navy blue, and if you look, you see that chevron pattern where it has some gold and some gray in it. This one also is for a cardigan. Now, when I say cardigan, I'm going to, it'll be something nice, you know, but all I was looking for was pieces that I could just layer over some of the bottoms that I have. But I love this. This is going to make up real nice and even though it has this glittery effect to it it is something that i can wear anytime i want to um and then i bought this this is a satin like a um it's a brocade but you can see that the pattern that's on here actually let me step back and show you the whole thing it looks like this and this is the back of it I got enough of this for 
a jacket like a coat type jacket i'm not quite sure which pattern i'm going to use i need to go get a pattern but it's probably going to be something from the vintage um pattern collection where i do this i um i was looking for that same because here you have this is definitely like a satin these black flowers and i didn't have time when i bought this piece but i do want to find the lighter color and the black so that i can make a bottom because i'm looking forward to having this as a coat i do have to get a lining but this as a coat and then of course the skirt um that will go under just something that will go right to my knee like that old-fashioned way where you used to have your coat and your dress uh for easter so that's gonna be for the coat then i have um this piece here now all of those fabrics except for that black one i showed you came from my store um the fabric hut now this piece this is a a flannel this was at joanne's oops <laughs> i found this at joanne's and i bought this they had this flannel like wool flannel for um 5.99 a yard like a door buster so i bought enough of this to make a shirt jacket um for my son it's actually black and the plaid that's in it it's gray you can see a hue of lavender or whatever which he wouldn't wear lavender but uh this gray you can see and stuff so this is pretty nice but this is enough to make him a jacket a shirt jacket now this piece was in hobby lobby it's um it's a corduroy a very fine whale pin with you know whale of it and stuff so it's really nice i've already made um my son a shirt jacket out of this i'll post a picture of it so you can see it but it was on sale in hobby lobby for a dollar 19 a yard so of course i bought plenty of it my when i bought it my mind wanted to make this make this jacket because um i've made the jacket before it's very nice and i felt like this corduroy the pants and that jacket would be sharp it would definitely have a vintage look so i'm not really sure because i do have enough of it left for that but i did make him um, a shirt jacket already when i was in hobby lobby i bought the same piece in this purple actually i don't know why this one cost more than that one well i don't know that beige one was shedding a lot the purple one didn't do it but i've already started a pair of pants out of the purple one Whoop. <laughs> Yeah, I've already started a pair of pants out of the purple one. So this is a nice corduroy. It has that same fine uh, whale in it. The weight's a teeny bit different than the beige one is, but this was only a small piece, so I only had enough to make a pair of pants. They're not finished, but I had enough to do that. Now this blue... This is a really nice navy blue um, gabardine, like a crepe gabardine. This blue is for these pants. I did show you this in another pattern haul, um, fabric haul, but the reason I'm showing it to you now is because that's what I bought this for um, when I went shopping so that I could make a nice cardigan to go with the blue pants okay now this came from hobby lobby it's that faux leather that they have in there teeny 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 stretch in it i bought enough for a pencil skirt it's in this burgundy color i bought enough for a pencil skirt i'm not sure when i will make it 
But what made me buy it is because about a month ago or more, I bought the this color um, in that, and I started making this skirt. It's been on my mannequin for a long time. I'm gonna finally finish it. I felt like it needed to be lined, so I hadn't bought any lining. So when I saw the burgundy on sale at Hobby Lobby, you know, I think it was $2 or something like that. I went on and bought a piece because somewhere down the road, I'll make, I'll make another pencil skirt if I can ever finish the brown one. Just a few more. Then I bought out of Joann's, they had this knit houndstooth. It's nice. It has a little stretch, just very little, very little, but I like it. I bought enough of this to make just a straight dress front and back with um, sleeveless. I'm probably going to put like three pretty buttons just down the center for decoration. But I do want to make a nice dress out of this. It's going to be different for me, but I think it would be nice. And when I got this, um, I was like, wow, if I have this for the holiday, maybe the a red sweater and that's what made me pick up this red today because the dress will be sleeveless so maybe if i'm wearing it during the holidays i can have the red cardigan on i don't know that's awfully bright for me the more i look at it the brighter it is it makes me feel like i need to go find another red but i don't know it probably would be very pretty then i bought um I had I bought this recently. It's just a scuba knit, a black scuba knit to go with the black and tan um, hoodie that I just made. This is the same fabric, but I had purchased that when I pur purchased the part for the hoodie. I just had not shown it, but I'll post a picture of that there. Then I bought this forest green. This is a poplin. Now I bought this on purpose, this green, it's real pretty. Green is new to my color palette. I don't normally wear green, even though I have a pair of green velour boots. I bought them because they were simply adorable and they get worn maybe twice last year. I wore them for my birthday last year. And so I might put them on once this year. Green's not my color, but I do like it. But I bought that fabric because I want to make these pants right here. So I'll make these pants out of that green. This is another green. This green's a little bit lighter. It's, um, it's like a crepe. It was on sale at my store. That green and that black came from my store fabric hut. And this green is like a crepe, but it was on sale for a good price. So I bought three yards of this. I have no idea what I will make out of it because I doubt if I have want anything else green in my wardrobe. When I got it, when I first bought it, I was like, oh, Maybe a jumpsuit, you know, something I don't have to be buying fabric for a top that I might not really want. And then when I was in the store the next time, I saw that green and I was like, well, this green's darker than the other green, thinking that this poplin green was darker. And it is just a little bit, but by a hair. So this one probably will just go in the stash until it, I can think of something that I can do with it. This one, I know I'm going to be making the pants um, very soon. And then the final piece <laughs> is this black premium cotton sateen. I've shown this um, fabric. I made pants and a vest out of this before, but I love it. It's just a black, has a little teeny sheen to it. Bought plenty of it. And I bought this one so that I could make myself a pair of cargo pants. I have not had a pair. I don't know what that's going to look like for me. 
but I bought enough of it to do that. So as you can see, I am going to be quite busy. I'm not sure what I'm going to start on first. I know that that green where I have the three yards will go get put away. That burgundy faux leather will get put away. Um, I don't know, maybe probably that black. I don't know which one I'll sew, but those two I know definitely will not be in, in any hurry. Now I just, I've already gone through my patterns. I see nice patterns to use for everything that I have here, but I haven't made a final decision. I also bought some thread um, from my store. This is green, the forest green, and this is the Glide. I haven't tried this yet, but um, this is the Glide. So I'm gonna try that when I sew the green. My machine doesn't like any kind of thread. I normally use Guterman um, or Coats and Clark, but I bought this to try. This is Glide thread. And I also, they had bundles of um, the Mettler thread. I haven't tried, had not. I did the other day try that either. But they had made up bundles of 15 for $12, $12.95. So I chose a bundle. You had to choose whatever colors. So I chose a bundle and I actually sewed um, the, the, the beige corduroy, my son's shirt coat, shirt jacket, with using that thread and it, it was a nice, it was a nice sew. So not any different from my Guterman thread for real. So we'll see how that works out. I'll use that thread. I may end up using the glide sometimes. We will see. But that is it for the pattern haul. I mean, the fabric haul. I will go out this week and get patterns um, for these things, but I won't display them. I mean, do a video about them. They'll just be ready when I get ready to make the things. So this is day one shopping for my birthday. So one of my shopping treats was the fabric store. And these are the fabrics that I bought. I'm so used to buying five and six yards of each piece because I like to sew in collections. All of these are individual pieces, but oh well, we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like button and share my channel if you see something or heard something that you like. Of course, if you choose to describe, subscribe, <laughs> I appreciate it. But if you're just scrolling through, I appreciate that also. But more than anything, ring that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And I'll let you see when I get some of these makes made up. I don't know. They all look so pretty to me. I don't know what's going to be first. But thank you so much for watching. Bye.